it's always the people that have less than zero room to talk that come barreling out of nowhere to attack President Trump with cartloads of bullshit. Whether it's Mick Jagger, who recently blamed Trump for tearing apart environment controls when America should be setting the standard for the world, of course, his royal satanic majesty doesn't understand that those controls include something found in the fine print of the UN Climate Summit known as Loss and Damage, where the United States and other developed countries would essentially pay up to undeveloped countries for any damage incurred by CO2 emissions determined by UN climate scientists. A quick way to spiral the United States into an economic collapse. But who can expect a Satanist who made a film with Crowley acolyte Kenneth Anger and future Manson murderer Bobby Bosalil to understand anything outside of what his social circle of vampires tells him? And then there is former South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford, who has announced that he will run as a Republican against Trump. Sanford went on to attack Trump for his transgressions, while brushing aside the fact that he covered up an affair he was having with his Argentinian mistress by claiming he had been hiking the Appalachian Trail. I developed um, a relationship with a, uh, we started as a dear, dear friend from Argentina. Add to this motley crew, disgraced former Trump press secretary Anthony Scaramucci, who is desperately clinging to his 15 minutes of fame. He's going after individual private Who's a fascist? So Trump. Is a fascist? Oh, the first thing in the, in the fascist manifesto what is, that? is going after private citizens using your political power. So yes. Here's my question to you. See, because the minute you're you say something used. out of line, do you I'm realize getting, you're getting used by getting, the media, by I'm CNN, my own guy, my own guy, MSNBC? My do you realize when they have Not you on to bash the president, they're using Bashing the president? No, we're going to work on getting him defeated. Because they hate you. No, it's not about. The media hates you, but now they love you because you're hitting the press. And then there's the field of Democratic candidate madness, towing the same cringeworthy attacks we have all grown to loathe. But if Donald, Hump, Donald Trump is re-elected, <laughs> Freudian slip. As this man tries to divide us and demean Americans and degrade Americans and pit us against each other, it is time for us time for us as Democrats to remember who we are. I mean, what are you going to do in the next one year yeah. to diminish the mentally retarded action of this guy? <laughs> well said. <laughs> Someone at your town hall uh, that we were at yesterday um, called the current president, President Trump, mentally retarded. Mm -hmm. um, what do you make of that? There's video on social media. It's um, an incredibly offensive term. Well said. <laughs> Even the almighty king of morality and truth, Snopes founder David Mickelson, allegedly embezzled $98,000 for prostitutes during his divorce. I ask you, has any decent person stood up in opposition to President Trump's populist uprising? John Bound reporting. 